Hey guys, Do It On A Dime family here. So this is gonna be a really casual and informal video about the ways that I save money making my son's baby food, as well as how I organize the baby food in the fridge and in the freezer. I actually made a video about my process that I go through to make baby food and how much money that I save doing it. And you guys can click that link on the screen as well as down below. And this video I wanted to make to address some of the questions that I was getting from you guys, show you a really cool product, and show you some of my organization tips. So I hope you enjoy. So a lot of the questions that I was getting was about these pouches. A lot of you guys find these really convenient and love using them with your babies. And I do buy these for Carson. We do have some on hand. But there is a good way to save money on these pouches by making them yourself. And I bought this off of Amazon. I believe it was on clearance for like $12, something like that when I got it. And you can actually buy these little disposable bags. They come 50 to a box. And this is what I'm making right now. This is just blueberries and mangoes. They can be so expensive. So what I've taken to doing is buying frozen blueberries. You guys, these are amazing. This was $3 and it's 10 ounces. And really, they were picked at their peak of freshness. They have the same amount of nutrients as fresh blueberries do, and they're like half the cost, literally. This is the same price that I would pay for regular blueberries. And I also got some mango. Harris Teeter was having a really great clearance on these, so I just picked up a bunch of bags, and then I just blended it up. So there you can see it's completely filled up with the mango and blueberry mixture and I'm going to show you how I do it with this one you just it's so easy you just push down like that and then it fills up into the well on the bottom and then it comes with these little caps and you can just screw them on and write the contents so to give you guys an idea a full bag of mangoes 10 ounces and a half a bag of blueberries 5 ounces yielded 7 pouches and I'm going to put on the screen for you guys how much this retails for had I bought them in packs like this and how much I spent doing it this way plus I know that these are all natural ingredients which is really great and here's how I'm storing these in our freezer, just in case you guys are curious. Here I have um, these smaller containers that I have shown. They're OXO brand um, that I've stacked on top. And then I have these larger four ounce containers. And then I just have the little Infantino packs sorted by type. So I've got like apples and stuff over here and carrots and broccoli cauliflower. And then here are the mango and blueberries that I just pureed up. So this is for the taking. And then we go ahead and we thaw it in our fridge. So this is inside of our fridge I just have this lazy Susan which you can find for a couple of dollars really anywhere and then these storage containers of course are from the dollar store um, and I just took the lids off and then I'm using them for different sections of food so here I have those Infantino packets some of them are thawing and some of them are we're in the process of eating and then this one I use for any whole fruit or vegetables that we you know we're trying finger food style right now and here I have an avocado and then over here, I just have the little OXO brand containers. This one has chicken in it, and then this one is sweet potato. And then in here, I'm keeping his teethers, just because he's teething so much, it's nice to have them cold and in a spot that's like pretty sterile in the fridge, I guess. And then back here is where I'm keeping breast milk. This little organizer was given to me by a friend, but I like it because you put them in this way and they come out this way. So there's never a question of which one to use first. So that's the organization system.